This video will demonstrate how to view and record on a MacBook laptop using a USB video camera. These are examples of USB cameras available on Amazon for less than $20. The tip is 5.5 millimeters in diameter and has six LED lights. There's a 1.3 megapixel camera that has a fixed focal length with a typical depth of field of 12 to 22 millimeters. There's a two meter long cable at the end of which is a USB connection, also a micro USB and a type C for Android devices. For our purposes, we'll be using the USB connection. There's also an inline rheostat that lets you vary the light intensity. For ear exams, I typically use this at full light intensity. I've made a mark on top of the camera with a paint pen that helps in orienting the image on the screen. In performing ear exams, I typically use a Welch Allen 4.25 millimeter tip. And in doing this, the device does not come in contact with the patient's skin. To use the camera, have the laptop turned on and then connect the camera in a USB slot. The USB camera is connected to an Apple MacBook Pro with a 15 inch screen. To view images on the screen, click on the Applications folder Find the QuickTime Player icon, click on that, go to the toolbar under File, click on New Movie Recording, maximize that by clicking on the green dot, we'll drag this out of the way. If you're using multiple cameras with your computer, you need to make sure you're connected to the proper one here, HP HD camera is appropriate. In order to see live images, we can now Proceed, and this will give 35 power magnification. So here's a picture of a right tympanic membrane. If all I want to do is see live images, we're good. If I wish to record a still of this image I'm seeing on the screen, I press Shift, Command, and 3, and that'll create a still photo file on the desktop. If I want to record video, click on the red dot. That'll begin recording. We can then stop recording by clicking that again. And that's now available for playback. If I want to save that video file, I'll hit Escape, go to the toolbar under File, click Save. We'll give the file a name. And that'll now be saved to the desktop. The other thing we can do is create a still from the video. And by dragging this bar, we can find the segment of video that gives us the image we wish to see. And then again, Shift Command 3 will create that file on the desktop. So we have the original still photo that we acquired. We have the file with the video and that's available for playback. And then we have the still photo we acquired from the video.